Yeah, so interestingly, uh, on the brigade headquarters, we were, uh, there was an exercise in Canada, a Five Eyes exercise, Northern Lights. So we were over in Canada uh, doing this um, brigade. Our brigade headquarters was set up as one of the three or four brigades, I think, under a divisional headquarters doing a command post exercise. And the genocide was starting to unfold in Rwanda. And we, uh, of course, in those days, I mean, we used to listen to the news all the time about where the opportunity might come for the next sort of mission. Um, and the Canadians announced that they were going. And if we were at that stage very sort of envious of them. And of course, we were a high readiness, rapid deployment sort of organisation too. So I remember saying to the Canadians as we finished up the exercise and headed back to Australia that we might... Uh, might just see them in Rwanda at some stage. I went back to the, back, got back to Australia, back onto the brigade headquarters, and then uh, a couple of weeks later, it did start to unfurl that Australia was considering sending a contingent. Um, there's always, um, you know, there's always rumours, there's always changes of plan, and so there was a, a swirl of things going on, but slowly but surely, it, it looked like we were definitely going to send a contribution. The contribution would be built around a, um, a medical contribution that would have a security element and those sorts of things. Uh, and then as that started to take shape, I was an ops captain on the brigade headquarters at that stage. Um, there was word that um, there'd be representation off the brigade headquarters. Um, then I was warned that I would be uh, going from the brigade headquarters to join the force. And then I was told that was no longer the case. And then I was told that I was going again. And then I was told I wasn't going again. That's also a feature of many of these operations as well. So, um, you know, some of us who were in that game for a long time joked that if you hadn't been sort of put on the manifest and taken off the manifest a couple of times, the operation didn't really count because uh, that cycle of great excitement and disappointment was always very much a part of those um, the rapid deployment. Uh, units and sometimes you you were warned and got quite close to going on things and then they were cancelled altogether. So that certainly happened to me in later years when I was the um, the online uh, ready company commander. You know we were warned to go to Cambodia and we're in the final stages of preparation to go and help evacuate people out of Cambodia and then suddenly we weren't going. Um, and there's been other operations like that along the way, but yeah. So and then ultimately I was uh, I was on the manifest and I was going and then I went and joined the the force that was being assembled and brought together in Townsville that comprised the headquarter elements of the 2nd and 4th Battalion at that time, uh, the rifle company, parts of the administrative company, uh, the, the disparate medical elements that were brought together as part of the, um, the field hospital, uh, the cavalry uh, element that with the armoured personnel carriers. Um, and then we had a very intense sort of short preparation and then uh, we were gone, and I was also uh, warned to be on the advance party, which is what ultimately I ended up on.